Hello, gentle, loving friends. Welcome to Transformation Matters. I'm Laura Staley, founder of Cherish Your World and author of Abundant Heart, my book of poems, prose, and essays, thoughts on healing, loving, and living free. Today I'm reading the poem, Human Wondering, and we're going to talk a little bit more about those common ground places that bring us together as human beings on the planet. Here's the poem, Human Wondering. Does hot coffee with cream taste different in your mouth? What about cold water or bursting blueberries, sweet, tangy? Doesn't a lover's kiss feel warm, tender, wet, sensuous, liberating on your lips? Do socks not make your feet feel safe, cozy on a cold autumn night? Can you not feel the sun on your face, no matter your complexion, lines, wrinkles, shade, tone, creases? Do you not look into a starlit night sky and notice the sliver glow of the moon? Does your body not heave and grieve like mine? Doesn't your belly digest food? Your lungs expand with each breath? When you hold a beloved one's hand, does this not soothe your wild, fluttering heart? Do we not all know death, birth, sweat, and salty tears? My pain, your joy, your hurts, my love, our humanity. As human beings, we do have common experiences. Most of us have eight senses, the five we've learned about, taste, touch, sight, hearing, uh, um, smell. And we also have three more that maybe you don't know about. And I have known in my own body experience for years, and they have fancy words, introception. Introception is the sensation you have of your inner body, of your muscles, of your the expanding lungs inside of you. Visceroception are those body cues of hunger, thirst, your urge to go to the bathroom. Proprioception is that sensing of your body's relationship to the floor, to objects. If you're out in nature, it's your relationship to the trees and how far away you are or how close you are to another human being. It's the ability to sense that and have that awareness. Human beings eat many types of food. You know, our difference our differences might be in in what foods we eat. I recently learned there are purple bananas. <laughs> and here I was all these years thinking there were only yellow ones, but indeed there are purple ones. So we might mm, enjoy bananas, but we do eat to uh, nourish our bodies. Uh, every human being eats some type of food uh, to nourish their body to stay alive. Uh, breathing oxygen and taking that oxygen into our into our bodies is something we have in common also. Dancing, music, singing, telling stories often bring people into a world of common ground. Haven't you met somebody for the first time and in that conversation all of a sudden realized they loved the exact same song you did and who knew <laughs> right or you're hearing about a brand new song uh, by an artist that you've not heard about but you love music that you're open enough to explore it and listen to it so music can bring us together dancing singing we can learn about our different ways of singing and dancing and maybe even teach one another those songs and dances. 
death definitely is a common ground. Most human beings on the planet right now know someone who has died or had a pet that died. Death is a unifier of the human experience. Maybe a cup of coffee or tea can uh, bring people together also. And yet it's in the grief and loss of those we love or a pet that we've loved that we can find that common ground. Finding and looking for common ground from that awakened soul presence can be such a joy. When you realize that you have so much more in common with another person, no matter what their packaging is, that they've got life experiences that may be very similar or different than yours, and yet the feeling experience The expression might be a little different, but that feeling experience could be very similar. Kind of like I was talking earlier about the need to breathe, to need the need to take a breath of air. I believe all of us have that as a common experience. It's kind of like recognizing the love, your 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 love for all the flowers that you've ever seen in a garden. And even though each flower is so unique and different from the next one, you just have this passion and joy that you experience in seeing the diversity of all those flowers and all of nature. We've all come to the earth to be in this big, (laughs) big blue planet hurling through space and time and it's just my greatest wish that we find our way to compassionate connection with one another in these common experiences of being alive on the planet it has been a joy to share these 12 episodes with you Uh, again I'm Laura Staley (laughs) founder of Cherish Your World an author of Abundant Heart, my book of poetry, prose, and essays, Thoughts on Healing, Loving, and Living Free. The book is available at Amazon as an ebook or soft cover at Worldwide Booksellers. It's been my honor and joy. Uh, have a blessed and beautiful day. Thank you for listening. <laughs>